Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Channel Week. My name is Brian. Welcome to another movie review. It's for The Tribe. The Tribe is this foreign film from the Ukraine that's been talked about a lot. And I'm giving you guys this type of review, mainly because it's the third time I'm trying to shoot this, because the first review is gone and it got messed up in iMovie, so fuck iMovie. And it was with a good friend of mine, Max, so I'll give his opinions in this as well. And second, because I got rudely interrupted. So here we go, finally, with the review. And the cinema spoiler show, where I'll probably mention a minor spoiler alert near the end, because I did it in the review when we were shooting it after we saw it. So there's going to be that. So this movie has been very talked about, mainly because the whole film is done in sign language, Ukrainian sign language. There's no subtitles, no music, and it's a lot of just ambient noise. So you kind of have to follow the story and see kind of where it goes and you have to really just pull yourself into this. But this movie is just shot beautifully. It reminded me a lot of Birdman where it sort of follows people and it's not edited that way, but it's sort of like once a segment ends, it ends and it goes to whatever's next and then it stays on it. And I think that was maybe a flaw because there's some very vivid imagery that I think goes on a little too long or is just very like, okay, like, I think I get it. I think that was really one of the only main gripes to this film. But the main film stars Sergei, who, again, you don't really know any of the people's names until the movie's actually over, but he is this kid that goes to this Ukrainian boarding school for deaf people, and he gets caught up in sort of this drug prostitution ring. And it goes on these many twists and many turns and it's very disturbing and it's very bleak and there's rarely even like funny moments and I think they come at like the worst times like they're kind of like really random funny moments. It's just a very bleak film and it's not really hard to follow. Like I think 90-95% of the time I kind of got where it was even maybe before I knew what was going on. There's a couple times I think what the next scene is explains a lot and I think that might come over tiring to people because the next scene seems to always sort of reconnect a lot of what that scene before was like I think it just really panhandles in a way but I don't think it's a bad I think it's cool that you get that so then you get some form of reaction to oh yes that was what I was thinking and then going into the next scene but like I said the whole thing about it being very vivid this is not a, a date movie this is not a movie for you know, people with not strong stomachs, I should say, because like I said, there's a lot of full frontal, there's a lot of violence, especially, minor spoiler alert, near sort of the end, there's sort of like this thing that takes place, and then sort of the finale, finale of the film, I was not expecting, and I had to cover my eyes a few times and all that, and there was a particular part where the whole audience gasped, and if you end up seeing the movie, I think you'll know what I'm talking about, so minor spoiler alert over. But I mean, overall, Max said it best, where I think he didn't love the movie as much as me, only because I think for him, he really enjoyed it, and a lot of the stuff he said was, it's an experience, like it's something that you're going to go home and you're going to think about and you're really going to take away a lot of things and you're really going to dissect it and write about it. And I thought that was a really good point that he made and sort of him saying the whole fact of this film itself is not really meant to be a film that's so engaging with what it's trying to tell you. I think it's more engaging with the type of narrative and all the aspects from the way it's shot and directed and actually played out. Because again, I think the actual story is kind of like, yeah, okay, this is fine. And like I said, sometimes it was very uncomfortable to watch. Like not even again in like a, oh way, but there were some very hard things to watch and I was kind of like turned off by it. And that's the thing too that was interesting is, am I supposed to, feel a certain type of way for these people or is it more of you just sort of get thrown into it and just watch like that's one of the more interesting parts of this movie but like I said if you aren't for the faint of heart in terms of certain imagery I'd say definitely 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 miss this but if you're a film person like me or many other people I think you should at least see it once you don't have to see it again but just experience it, especially if you could see it in a theater because that was such an incredible experience. A lady had to get up like four times because that was... Anyways, if you guys somehow saw the film, what do you guys think of it? Do you like it as much as me? Do you hate it more than me? Do you think it was like this stupid, pretentious garbage? Leave all that in the comments below. If you like, please like and please subscribe if, you know, 
all that sort of stuff you want, all the reviews and the original stuff hopefully coming soon. I would like to have thanked Max for being in this review, but that review ended up shitting out on me, but again, his opinions were that he kind of enjoyed it the same amount as me, but he probably doesn't want to see it again as well. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for tuning in to Channel BK. Peace out, guys.